We are Team Fulcrum and we worked with Melwood at Fort Meade. Melwood began as a training site for people of differing abilities to gain skills in agriculture. Melwood currently serves the greater DC area. Today it provides employment opportunities and training for people of differing abilities. Meet Claire, a custodian for Melwood at Fort Meade who has a cognitive disability. Fine. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a good asper worker around for me. I've been here for 11, closer than 10 or nine years from Melwood. What do you like most about your job? Cleaning bathroom, wipe the walls, clean the urinal. So you're proud of your work? Yes, I'm proud of myself. Good, you should be. The problem that we have that we needed a resolution for was we have a group of employees that have a large amount of work to get done in one day and we have about six employees but one lead worker so the problem was that the lead worker couldn't get to everybody all the time and keep track of all the things that they needed to be reminded of so how often do you have to keep an eye on the employees constantly i have five employees so once I finish with one, you have to go see what the other one's doing. Then you go to the next one, come back to the first one you started from. Do you have trouble remembering when to do tasks? I forget lots of stuff. To solve this problem, we designed Counterbalance. Counterbalance is an app designed to increase the independence of Claire and his coworkers. The app shows users the tasks they have been assigned and assesses their moods. Administrators like KV and Reagan are able to assign tasks, identify any employees who may need time to cool down, and make important announcements. To make the app accessible to both Claire and his co-workers, the app uses both pictures and words. Though Claire enjoys reading and writing, the app also offers the feature of listening to announcements rather than reading and also provides helpful pictures. This makes the app usable for employees that may not be very comfortable with reading. Counterbalance was originally intended as an app to teach Claire and his co-workers how to perform tasks like cleaning the bathroom and folding rags. This was during a transition from an old method of cleaning. Claire was experiencing frustration at this time. However, Claire was able to overcome this problem very quickly, so Reagan requested us to modify the app so that it would help Claire gain more independence in his work while lessening the degree of surveillance required from KB. We also originally planned to make the app with Java, but since the app needed to be accessible from multiple operating systems, we redesigned it as a web app. After demonstrating our app to Melwood, we were requested to add a mood feature to the app. This allows the lead worker to know how Claire and his coworkers feel and if anyone needs help. We are also adding an alert function that tells the employees what time they must complete a specific task, increasing efficiency and reducing the amount of supervision necessary. To assess Counterbalance's success, we chose to measure the amount of supervision that is necessary. Before our app was introduced, KB had to constantly monitor the workers and keep them on track. Counterbalance aims to reduce the amount of supervision by at least 50%, measured as the percent of the workday which KB has to supervise. Because of the versatile nature of the application, it could potentially be helpful to other groups that work under Melwood. It would help many of the people gain the independence that they truly deserve. Counterbalance doesn't tell users how to do their job, but rather reminds and guides them. This benefits both supervisors and employees, such as Claire. The app is really impressive. It's a, it's a really, really good tool. The thing that I really like about the app is that it, it's an easy app to use. So even our employees who may not be able to read or write very well, the app has pictures and has a low barrier. So everybody can use it, right? No matter where you are on the spectrum of cognitive understanding. Will the app help you free up your schedule a little bit? Yeah, it, it definitely will. It definitely will. Like I said, I won't have to keep walking around constantly like the way I do. Now, I can continue to check on them, but not, you know, as much as I do. Yeah. Oh, well. That's one of the goals. We want to make sure you don't have to check on them as much so they can be a little bit more independent. Okay. So yeah. I like this app. <laughs> Did you like the app? Yes. Did you like that? You could That's choose that. how you were feeling today? Yeah. Yeah. Happy, sad, angry, angry, but bad. What, bad. What did you choose today? Happy mood. Happy mood. You like that part? Yes. 